It's an out of this world phenomenon straight out of the movies. A large hunk of space junk about 40 feet long and 10 feet wide headed for a crash landing on the surface of the moon. This is really about the best place that a piece of junk like this could have gone. Space expert and amateur asteroid tracker Bill Gray was the first to spot the rogue flying hunk of metal. Initially concluding it was part of a SpaceX Falcon rocket launched in 2015. But now, according to NASA, it's actually part of a Chinese rocket launched a year earlier. What does it tell us that you're trying to figure out what this space junk is because essentially nobody's tracking it? I don't actually expect necessarily that these objects will be tracked, but usually at the beginning, Somebody knows that this is where we lost contact with it. Explore, this is Kowalski confirming visual contact with debris. debris Unlike some of Hollywood's popular depictions of the dangers of space debris, this particular junk does not pose any serious threat to the moon or its orbit. But it will certainly leave a mark. The impact will shoot moon dust for hundreds of miles in every direction and carve out a brand new moon crater expected to be up to 60 plus feet across. NASA tells NBC News it could take weeks to months to identify the impact site, calling it an exciting research opportunity. Learning about space and the solar system is nine-year-old Reagan D'Andrea's favorite hobby. His mom, Brianna, says at first, Reagan wondered if the crash may affect tides here on Earth. So his first reaction was, well, wait, what's going to happen to the water? Is that going to affect the water? And I was like, good question, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, nothing will change here on Earth. And a little space junk will not stop Reagan and his little sister Vera from dreaming of someday going to space themselves. I know Vera always has a saying that she likes to say, and what's that? I love you to the moon. I love you to the moon. Unfortunately, we will not be able to see this crash. But if you're curious how much space junk is out there, yes, there's an app for that. It's actually designed to look at the constellations. You just hold it up like that. But then it also identifies the tens of thousands of pieces of space junk that's floating out there in low Earth orbit. What app is that? But, you know, tomorrow, one wow. 800 got junk. <laughs> <laughs> junk lookers, I know. If you're like, have the, the urge literary. to clean, Thanks. don't get that app. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. We Thanks, appreciate Carrie. it. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.